All right, in this video, we're back on the RX-7 and we keep pushing forward with this EFI setup and we get closer and closer, but haven't got my ECU back yet, so dumb. Anyway, enjoy. So just showing up to Steven's house to pick up this engine, but he's ducked out of this interview again. So one of these days we will do a video on this car and the 323 at the same time, maybe even the Mini. But yeah, he's sneaky this one. All right, let's get rid of this engine and head home. Okay, so what I'm gonna do on this is, in my last video, you saw these fuel injectors. I think it was this one and this one were leaking quite bad. So I have found an O-ring kit right there but i do have new seals coming but i'm going to try with those first and see if i can stop that leaking so that i can fully test the fuel lines the fuel pressure rig make sure it's not leaking and then i can go ahead and cover all the backup and over there just got the 12a um, club car engine back so during the week we're going to be um dabbling with that as well so exciting okay so i've gone and put new o-rings in the top of these injectors put new hardware down here to try and lock it up a bit tighter they actually feel a little bit better. Not so loose, but I don't know. Don't know if it's going to happen. But I hooked this battery up and then I'll turn that fuel pump on and hopefully, hopefully it bloody um, is going to stop pissing everywhere. What? It's not leaking. Can't be. I'll just turn on my seven train full. Train 34, 34 psi. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I could have um quite easily just fixed that in my last video, but I can feel the fuel pumping through it. Okay, all right. Okay, so I'm just gonna test uh, or set the fuel pressure at the moment. So it's sitting at 37. Still 37. What? Why aren't you moving? Oh, 38. Let's run at that. But she's not leaking. So. Move on to the next thing, maybe we should look at this wiring. I can technically cover this all back up now. So I'm pretty happy about that. So not gonna lie, pretty, pretty happy about that, but I should have actually done that in the last video instead of spending an hour and a half trying to alter brackets and do this, that, and the other, I had the answer right there. Now I've had this kit for years and it's just been sitting here and I should have just used it. But anyway, uh, job's done. Now maybe, maybe we can start looking at this wiring. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, so now we're moving on to wiring. Now I want to sort out all the plugs for the injectors. Now Jeff did send me all this little fiddly, fiddly little bits here and I've already stuffed one. So we're gonna push those to the side. I've got these, I don't know where I got them from. We're gonna snip that there and we're just gonna solder them to the loom and run it that way. Now, the water temp sensor. Now, I took this one out of the 12 engine over there that, out of the back of the water pump just to see the thread size and they're different. So now I'm gonna to need to get an adapter for that thread to take this thread, so 
back to uh, speed factor, I think, for that one. So for the next hour or so, I'm just going to start wiring these plugs. We'll clip them onto where they need to be, onto the injectors, and then we're going to start sorting out the rest of this wiring and feed it into the car. Okay, so I managed to sort one out. That looks all right. That would do. A little bit of uh, gap there, but tape will sort that out. So I'll do the rest now, and then we'll just start plugging it up and we'll probably run the loom into the car. are all plugged up now uh what have i got down here so tps i believe and this was the air temp sensor but i'm going to actually swap this out and make this the water temp sensor which will plug into the plug back there so it's all run into the car now what i've got here is a mess to be honest um yeah i've just hacked all that wiring out so i don't actually have a microtech anymore i gave that back to its owner this morning so I'm hoping to hear back from Microtech about my one and yeah, and then we can plug it in. But that shouldn't stop me um, running all the wires to this loom here. So these were all cut back a long time ago because as I said, the Microtech I had was only running the coils and the CAS. So I'll start plugging those in and I need to utilize, there's a fuse block in there. So that's where I will plug my injector uh, power feed to. I just gotta double check to make sure that's a full-time power. But besides that, we should be good. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get start. I'm just gonna start wiring. Now, I do have another Microtech that was given to me that is not for a rotary, it's for a, I believe it was an Evo. So I may plug that in just to check, uh, go through the cycles and do the check to see if the injectors are firing once all this is wired up and to sort out the TPS, um, make sure I've got the right wires, yeah, make sure that works, and yeah, I think we'll be good. There are a few other bits and pieces I need to get, but we'll get those in the next couple of days. All right, just finished wiring this up. So I have my injector signal wires all done. I have the TPS wiring done from this part of the loom. I still need to connect it up to the one on the manifold, and I've got my temp sensors, temp sensor run, and I've just run a bus bar for all the common earths. So... I will go and strip the wiring for the TPS and we're gonna muck around with that. And then what I'm thinking of doing, I don't, I'm pretty sure I said it before, we are going to plug this Microtech in, which is not for, it's not tuned for a rotor, but I should still be able to see a TPS signal and I should still be able to put in test mode and test the injectors. I can't see why not, but we'll give it a go anyway. Okay, so I've got the TPS wired up one way. I've put the other ECU in now. Just hook some power up. And then see if that ECU powers up. I've actually never, ever turned this one on, but we'll have a look. Oh, she's, she's powered up. So... I've run my dongle cable now, so we'll go have a look at that. Okay, so time to power this up and check. What am I checking? TPS and I'm checking uh, the injectors too. So, sweet. It's all talking to it. So, first off, we'll watch this one here. Hopefully, you should see that move up. Okay, so TPS is working. That's mint. So next, I need to test um, test the injectors to make sure that they are, sorry, concentrating on two things, that they are um, working and firing, whatever. So I'll set this down to zero. Why are they so quiet?
Those are really, really quiet. But I can hear them. So they are firing, but... Yeah, I wonder what that's all about. Um, anyway, no, stoked. So I'm pretty sure all I need to do now is get the water temp uh, fitting for the back of the water pump and I'll wire that in. I need to get uh, a plug for that TPS wiring and I think we could start it, to be honest. That would be good. Oh, no, I need my ECU back from Christchurch. So hopefully I hear about that tomorrow or the next day and hopefully I get it back soon and we can just plug it all up and start it. Okay, next day again and what I've done today is I've been hunting down um, an adapter for my temperature sensor, temp sensor. Hunting one of those, couldn't find one, couldn't find one that would work. So what I've done is off this engine here, I've taken this one out. I'm pretty sure I did that yesterday. You may have seen it. Anyway, I've got the same size one in the back of this engine, but that's still full of water. So taking that out and I've been a little bit cheeky with it. So I drilled a hole down through the guts of it and ripped out all the, whatever the stuff that was in there. And we've just shortened this up and we've just tapped, tapped it into there. So should work. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get this on. And what I need to do is wire the temp sensor up um i need to finish off wiring up the tps now the know which wires go where wire that all up plug it back up to the laptop make sure all of that works and then wait for the computer to come back from christchurch which sucks but anyway that is what it is well there you go it's in down there so this is the one i took out so what i did was yeah as i said i just drilled down through there smashed all this stuff out and i actually cut this down in half because the steel brass, whatever this thing is, uh, the material didn't come all the way up. So I've cut it down there. So I've got as much bite on that TEM sensor as possible. And it seems to have worked. So this one can now live in the back of this water pump. So good result, pretty stoked with that. So now I'm going to go ahead and as I said, I need to, where are they? wire up these two wires for the temp sensor and I knocked all the TPS wires out. So I may have to look back through the footage and see which way they were wired up. Um, originally I was gonna get those Deutsch connectors on it, but I think I might just, at this point, just solder them up, heat shrink them, and we'll look at plugs later on down the line. But I wanna get these two things done and make sure they're working and we can just tick that off the list and then I'll be a lot happier. Right, so I've got the TPS all wired up properly now, and as you saw, we've got the coolant temp sensor plugged in as well. So I've hooked the battery up, so we'll just turn the ignition on. Microtech is powered up. So what I'm looking for is that. So we have temperature, so I'm stoked with that. So temp sensor's working. Uh, just double check that TPS again. That's pretty cool. So happy with that. Now, the reason the injectors are so quiet, I found out, is they're low impedance injectors. I don't know what that means, but there's high impedance, low impedance, and apparently these are low. That's why they're quiet. But the microtech can still run them, so stoked. That's another good result, so stoked with that. Um, can't really do much more today because the only thing i've got really got left to do is i need to get the fuel pumps and the fans wired through relays through the microtech so i don't have any relays at the moment so i will go get some tomorrow and sort that out and then then we're at a standstill again unfortunately but it is what it is i might try and get my hands on another ecu that is that recognizes the CAS and I might be able to start it. We'll see how that goes, but yeah, dumb. Next day again, and still haven't heard back from Microtech about my ECU. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press on. I'm gonna get these relays here, wired in for the fuel pump and the electric fan, make sure, and we'll test that, make sure it works. And then um, that's about all I can do. I could tidy all this up, but I'm still, I'm in an hour and about running other sensors later on. So 
I might hold fire on it until the ECU comes back, but dumb. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a waiting game. But anyway, we'll get after it. So at the moment, uh, my switch panel over here is running my fans and my fuel pumps. So hopefully I can find that wiring, run it back down here. We'll mount the relays in behind that panel there somewhere. And then all I need to do is find a constant 12 volt, which is coming off the fuse box that's in there. But what I'm after is a switch 12 volt. So I'll find one of those and we'll run those to those relays. And yeah, it shouldn't take too long, but if we wired up properly, Next time we uh, turn the ignition on, we should hear the fuel pumps prime. And when we put it in test mode, we should be able to see the fans um, come on and off. So that's the goal and hopefully we'll achieve it. Right, so a little bit of time has passed, but now we have relays wired in for electric fan and fuel pump. So what I'm gonna do now is we will uh, turn the ignition on and see if everything is going to work uh first off should be fuel pump should prime so I'll just turn the key are they both working yeah they're both working so they should turn off soon there you go and next thing i need to check is that these fans come on so We'll cut across to this, take it down to test. Sweet, that's good. Why are these injectors getting louder? Or just this one? I might need to look into those, but stoke the fans working, so that's pretty good. Um, everything's working how it's supposed to. So I'm going to clean this up and we'll probably end this video here. Okay, so just to piss me off, one thing I've just noticed. My fuel pressure gauge in the center there is not reading. So <sighs> something in the wiring behind there, but I'll sort that out. Um, there's always something. So yeah, probably going to end the video here. So very happy with that. So... I'm pretty sure we have enough of stuff, of stuff. We have enough wired up to start this car, if I had my ECU. Now, the ECU that's in it now, I said before, it's out of the Evo, so it's not gonna recognize the trigger. Um, it's not gonna recognize the CAS, so it actually won't fire. So there's no point trying to start it up. And even if it did, it would just, it would be no good. So I'm kind of stuck until I get that ECU back. Um, as soon as I get that back though, should be straight plug in, should be able to start it. The injectors, I don't I don't know why one's gone quiet. I might pull them out, get them all tested, float and tested, or whatever they do. And the intake itself needs to be polished up by old mate. So we'll get that sorted. But we're gonna I'm actually gonna put this car to the side for the next couple of weeks because I've got another car coming in that side this weekend. So keep an eye out for that one. But anyway, if you made this far, thank you for watching and we'll get back to this in a couple of weeks, I hope. As soon as that ECU is back. Cheers.